What's up guys and welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. Today we are heading out of camp because Hosea's got something for us. So we're gonna go see what he's up to. Oh, he's got the moonshine. All right, what's going on here? Hey, Arthur, what are you doing? Selling it back to where it came from. Why? Well, I ain't got a market for it. They made it, they must have someone to sell it to. <coughs> Stuff look kind of lonely out here. I think we'll cut ourselves a deal. Uh, I get you. You and Dutch was just doing your duty when you requisitioned it. Now I'm doing mine. All right, I should get going now. This does not sound like the best idea. Good luck. Thank you, John. We're going to be selling this back we'll to the people later. we stole it from? Dutch asked him to look into something to do with the Braithwaite horses, I think. Sure, okay. Okay, let's head out to the Braithwaite's place. You know the way? Yeah, I've been there. So, what exactly are we doing? This is the moonshine we took after blowing up the Braithwaite still, right? <laughs> I think that good citizens taking the trouble to return their stolen goods deserve some reward, don't you? And it's time we made a formal introduction, like Dutch told us. Look, these are two big old plantation houses, and all I keep hearing is they hate each other so much they can't see past it. I know. I've seen it. There's a gray boy and a Braithwaite girl carrying on a secret affair. I've been, well, helping them. The mind boggles. You think they're of use? Not sure. They don't seem too involved in the rest of it, but maybe. Well, I'm sure there's money in this for us somewhere if we can get in the middle of it. For sure, we could play both sides, but I don't think stealing something from somebody and then returning it a day later Modest is a good idea. Homestead, isn't it? This is a little bit sketchy. Hello, gentlemen. How are you? What's that in the back there? Moonshine, my fine fellow. May I have a word with the man of the house? The man of the house is a lady. Mrs. Catherine Braithwaite. May I speak with her? I want to discuss a business opportunity. I mean no harm. No harm at all. You may happily shoot me if I do. <laughs> okay, okay. She's at the house. Hmm. We'll be watching you. You heard the man. Driver, proceed, please. All right. I feel like this is a really bad idea, but who knows? I'm just gonna pretend like we like found this in the woods, just randomly came across it. We knew it was theirs. We're just good citizens doing a favor, or what? What you want? Found something out in the hills. Thought. Thought maybe you was in the market for it. For what? Some liquor. I ain't in the market for what's already mine. The way we see it, it's ours. Well, with us possessing it, and I, I checked all over. For the life of me, I couldn't see your name on it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, no. Relax, I ain't here to rob you. <laughs> oh, it seems that's easy enough. <laughs> Why not do a deal? What do you sell that stuff for? Dollar a bottle. You give us 50 cents. It's already ours. Now look on it as a reward for finding the property. Alternative is we go sell it someplace else. The alternative <laughs> is you get shot. Now, who wants to get shot over a bottle or two of liquor? <laughs> Pay the man. Pleasure doing business with you. And listen. Uh, we didn't take it, at least not without orders from... Oh, I know exactly who gave you your orders. Old Sheriff Gray. You know what? I don't want it. In fact, sir, now you can do me a favor. There's an extra ten bucks if you do. Drive the stuff into Rhodes, head over to the tavern run by Mr. Gray, and give the stuff out for free. Mama! Hush now. I believe they call that a promotional expense. <laughs> Okay. As you wish, madam. You boys come back sometime and tell me how you made out. Maybe we'll play a little cribbage. All right. Next stop, the road saloon. So now we're kind of in with her. Doing a little a little mission for her. It's nothing crazy, but it could be the start of something new. So I finally sold those Cornwall bonds. Got close to a thousand for her. 
I wanted more, but not bad considering how hot they were. Especially after that bloodbath in Valentine. No, not bad at all. Apparently, Cornwall's been pumping a lot of cash into the Pinkertons. Wants to keep their full effort on going after gangs. Gangs like us. Yeah. That don't surprise me. So right. she wants us to take it to the Gray's saloon to get them in trouble, I'm assuming? Dutch already have that thing going on in town. Because obviously Moonshine's Mr. illegal. Gray. That's it. Now we're inserting ourselves in his blood feud. We'll need something. I ain't playing dressing. You know how I feel about that. Of course you're not. You're... You're a clown's idiot brother. Jose, please. I'm the clown. You're the idiot. Just look sad and keep quiet. Even you can do that, Arthur. Oh, I have to. Uh, put this hat on. <coughs> Smoke this pipe. <laughs> Bring your lip forward. Just a bit. Squint. It, oh, perfect. Uh, what about you? Oh, shh. Sh you can't speak. You're turned idiot. <laughs> My broke poor mammy's heart. <sighs> there, there. Fenton, there, there. Don't get mad now. Huh? All right, so I guess we've got our disguises figured out. We made it to the Rhodes Parlor House. Okay, Fenton, stay calm now. For Mama, she loved you so. <laughs> Just a shame you had to strangle her in a rage, right? Grab two cases of that stuff and follow me. It's a restaurant and saloon. Looks like a pretty nice spot. We're gonna be handing out moonshine. Gentlemen! Gentlemen! Quite the town you have here. We just rode in from up north. Hey. Hello! Hello, I'm Melvin. This is my brother Fenton. Don't mind him, don't madden him. He's turned idiot. <laughs> Killed our mother, but it weren't his fault. How'd you boys, how'd you boys like a couple of bucks? I bet you would. One for each of you. We're in the new trade of advertising, which is an American art form about ensuring people buy the correct things. I don't know. One more dollar. Says give us half an hour. What harm can we do in half an hour? <laughs> Go along now. Enjoy the money. Come on, Fenton. Let's hand out the liquor. All right. So that were those the bartenders? I think those might have been the bartenders, and now we're going to be... Oh, God, Gentlemen. this is going to be insane. Gentlemen! My name is Melvin. That's my brother, Fenton. He's a bit funny, but boy, can he pour drinks fast. For the next 30 minutes, the drinks in this year bar, in this year town, are entirely free. Yeah. The only rule is that you gotta drink them. So hurry up, put old Fenton to work. Yeah. Don't get him mad, though. His mama made him mad, and we buried her. The whole thing. Ah. Now come up to the bar, everybody. Come on, bullets. I'll help one, Fenton. All right. I'm... That was a really long, uh... Really long pour. <laughs> How are we pouring that long for little shot glasses? I don't know how our glasses are taking that long to, to fill, but it works, I guess. Don't listen to your brother. Over here, Finn. <laughs> Getting people nice and drunk, I guess.
Will do, bro. Keep them coming. <laughs> Break up, Green! Ah. The Moin Raiders. Good evening, gentlemen. Quiet libation. You, me. You're the bastard who stole the liquor we was gonna buy. Jump. We're in advertising. Uh, come on in and have a drink. That's our goddamn liquor. An honest mistake. Boys, get him. Oh, Here we go, baby. One, two. There's a third guy. Right there. Woo! Got him off. You think we wouldn't find you? Oh, there's more right here. Oh my goodness. That's how you wanna do it. Guys coming in the back door? Hold up. You need some help, I think. He's down. Got him. Hey, hey, this way. Jump. Go ahead and get our uh oh we don't have anything but our revolvers. Okay. They got out the back. Here we go, got boys. More coming after us. Might have to use some dead eye here. Shooting while riding is not easy. Shoot them then. Hold on a second. Got him. The other two fell on top of each other. That was perfect. They almost killed us, and I gotta... Got him! Woo! Okay. Our health is not looking good, though. He's down. Hold on. Shoot the dynamite. Got it. Woo! Right there, he's down. Watch out for the horse. There's one behind us. We're gonna have people on the train. Is that a bad guy or no? Watch your back. Rapid fire these boys. He's down. Damn it, they're still coming! Got his horse. Kind of feel bad about it, but bro, you gotta do what you gotta do sometimes. He's down. Whoo! You see any more of them? Don't think so. That was pretty intense. Over a few bottles of booze. I reckon it's more. They don't want another gang on their patch. Look at all the bullet holes in the back of our wagon, dude. All right. We're good. Yeah. Remind me never to take up a career in... What was it? Advertising. Yeah. You think that woman set us up? No, I don't think so. Maybe. This place is odd. Uh, I keep seeing those fellas. Some local militia. Clearly not too happy to have some new competition. I'll go visit old Mob Braithwaite. See what's what. Why? We've been making money. The chest is filling up again, slowly but surely. Part of me thinks we just get ourselves good and lost. But we still need a lot more money before that can happen. So, for now, let me go give old Mrs. Braithwaite some of this moonshine as, well, let's call it a peace offering. Sure. That was fun, Fenton. We'll make an actor of you yet. <laughs> I'll go speak to Dutch. All right, so we may have a new, uh, new kind of like quest line there, working for Miss Braithwaite. We've also got the Greys on the other side of things, been helping him out with his love well, life and think? stuff. We're playing both About sides. What? Fine folks around these parts. Oh, real nice. Exactly. On the one side, we have got the Gray family. Scots, degenerates, drunkards, the local law. You couldn't make this stuff up. Rich as Croesus. 
And on the other, their mortal enemies, the Braithwaites. Moonshiners, hypocritical, both rolling, we believe. In gold. Mm. And in the middle of it all, you got some inbred retelling of Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so what you boys thinking? We try to rob them both. I'm down. You sure? Why not? Because we got lawmen in three different states after us. Last thing I want is to get us into trouble, but we need money. Now, we have the opportunity here to put ourselves in the middle of something ain't nobody gonna know we was here. Because even without us, these fools are gonna kill each other anyway. Okay, well, Jose's gone back to see that Braithwaite woman. Good. Hosea should definitely take the lead on this. I sent Sean over to Braithwaite Manor, too. Now, you can meet up with them, or join John and Javier at the Gray's place. Something to do with the Braithwaite's prize horses. Well, how the hell did we get an in at the Gray's place? Sheriff Gray kindly put in a word with his father. It ain't that complicated. <laughs> we gotta convince each family that we're on their side, and then we rob them both. Before they figure out it was us that done it, and not the other lot, we'll be long gone. Think of it as payback for my daddy. Payback? I ain't in the revenge business, Dutch. Least of all for something that happened a long time ago. Well, I guess we all gotta pay for something. Now, if you will excuse me, Arthur, I got to write a letter. I mean, this sounds like the perfect setup. No matter what we do, we're going to have both sides on our side, and then they're just going to think that the other side did it. So we are rolling back up to the Braithwaite Manor here, dude. This is kind of cool, but also kind of creepy. Like the whole super long trees, house at the end of the road type deal. Like this, this looks like it's out of a straight scary movie or something, but uh, we'll see what happens here. Y'all boys going to let me through? With you there. I'm here on official hey, business. Brothers, I have a meeting with Mrs. Braithwaite. My associates are already here. All right, that's enough. Move along now. All right. Dude, she's got four security guards out front. That's pretty serious. All right. Stay here, Frankie. Be back in a minute. Please come in, sir. Bro, this is so creepy. Uh, this way, sir. A gentleman to see you, ma'am. So, your friend, the other liquor vendor. Hello. Hello, ma'am. Uh, Arthur, welcome. We were just playing cribbage. Arthur Morgan, Mrs. Catherine Braithwaite. Nice to see you again. Apparently. So this one, he is big and as dumb as he looks? <laughs> well, he's surely big. But his intelligence is a matter of some conjecture. Some say he is as dumb as he looks, but I think, well, he's not quite that dumb. <laughs> so these are the boys going to Caliger Hall? Yes, we can take care of that for you, but one hates to be coarse. There is the question of money. <laughs> oh, we've got money, Mr. Matthews. Paper, bonds, metal. <laughs> she ain't gonna pay you with a certified check, you Yankee numbskull. Ain't childbirth just the most beautiful miracle on earth? Seems a lady can birth monkeys, after all. <laughs> Straight roasting him. Oh my goodness. All right, here we go. So our first official mission with can her. I drive? Nope. <sighs> Looks like we've passed the test to an extent. Let's see, uh... See how deep her All pockets right, are. I'm excited. I have no idea what we're doing going you to Caliga Hall, but there. took everything I had. That son of horse. I'll shove that silver spoon down his throat and pull it clean out of his ass. The smoke fucker. Okay. So what she got us doing at the Gray's place? She wants us to torture tobacco fields. Said they ain't had rain in weeks round here. What? Oh man. Using that back there. Moonshine? Born's faster than kerosene, that stuff. Said it'd be fitting, she did. All I'm thinking is how about why toy fitting my boot up your hook nose, you slutty old bitch. 
Jose really picked the right fella for tea at the manor, didn't he? Ah, he was giving his usual flannin. One of these families got gold stash somewhere, he reckons. I mean, I'm off for sticking it to rich folks. I hate rich folks. They're really very so bloody money at the end of all this. Jose knows what he's doing. Does he, though? The master finagler of nothing. Easy, easy. So far, we've destroyed the Braithwaite still. Tried to sell the shine back to them. Now we're on this fool's errand, which I'm very much looking forward to, by the way. They were saying old man Greg's double security after that business at the saloon. So, we're just gonna drive on in there, is that it? Don't worry, I got a plan. Wagons go in and out of there all the time with supplies, equipment, payroll. Especially now they've taken on all that extra muscle. We're making a delivery, that's all. Just leave it to me. I can talk a dog off a meat wagon. <laughs> All right, then. Whatever you say, bud. Yeah. I hope you're right. I hope we don't have any issues here, but this seems pretty sketchy. Especially the fact that it's, like, it could be explosives or flammables or something like that, but this is literally their moonshine that we're delivering. Like, why the, why would they order the, the opposing house's moonshine? There it is. There's the house. This is it. Hold up a second. Are you not worried about them greys, English? Excuse me? You not worried about them greys? In what sense? Well, they know you. Yeah, maybe you're right. You know Probably what? a good idea. Here. I'll go hiding back. If you can act naturally and stop us from getting into a fight before we're ready. I will try. Yes. Try and do an impression of a human being. <laughs> I'm not going to go that far. <laughs> We got our guns sticking up the through the belt. Hey, hold it right there. <laughs> yep. What do you want, boy? I've, uh, I've, there, there was a ting, a, a oh, ting no. at the saloon. What you talking about? Well, I'm delivering the supplies. You're not the usual driver. Uh, you want a bottle, friend? H here. Uh, uh, have a wee drop. <laughs> I'm new. I, I mean, you no know, harm. Uh, <laughs> I I've come from Donegal in, in Ireland. You don't say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they said you'd understand. Uh, some kind of incident at the saloon in town. I, I was talking to bring this up here. Ask no questions. I'll tell you no lies. Uh, sort of business. Uh, uh, Hey, before the officials got there, okay. they said. Okay. Drive this way. I'll show you how to get there. Oh, thank you, friend. Uh, have a drink, Sean. Well, this is sketchy. But it's working. Uh, Hamish. Good to meet you, Hamish. <laughs> uh, fine bit of country you've got here. Uh, not as fine as Connemara, but fine nonetheless. My people come from Scotland. Is that right? Then you and I are nearly brothers. <laughs> <laughs> Why is this guy moaning? Here. Yeah, it's straight down the path here. It's I guess he doesn't so like I can barely keep track of all these deliveries coming in. Yeah, and they said they was looking for more drivers in town. I jumped at the chance. I ain't never been a feather to kick a bit of honest walk out of bed. <laughs> so, you folks been having a hard time of it, have you? Yeah, Mr. Gray's got a heap of problems right now with another family around here. A bunch of covetous lowdowns trying to sabotage his livelihood. Disgusting. Oh dear, oh dear, I'm sorry to hear that, Hamish. Sounds like you definitely deserve that drink. <laughs> you don't know the half of it. Just in there. Ah, right you are. <laughs> you can unload it here. In here? Oh, <laughs> the horse is like a, a swift one, <clears throat> do they? <laughs> Excuse me? Um, nothing. It's grand. <clears throat> Take out oh, the guard's silence. <laughs> 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 
Reminds me of one of them big houses there, out in Donegal. Ah. Real fancy places they was, Hamish. Real fancy. Because if some folks got all the money, they can build quite the fanciest places imaginable, eh? Mm. Well, the average man sups on shite, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. <laughs> you didn't have to kill him! Come on, Arthur. What are you playing at? I was enjoying the monologue. I'm glad I'm not your brother. Where? Let's get on with this. Can you we pick him up and bring him inside? Dog, You could have just knocked him out. Why kill him? He seemed like a guy, a nice guy. Like, whatever, man. How are you getting on? Good. Nearly got these things ready. Okay. No, we're making Molotovs. Oh, <laughs> okay. This is gonna be sick, dude. There's plenty of guards out there. Here's how I feel we should deal with things. You head over to the dry barn. Sure. And you? I'm gonna deal with the fields themselves. We coat everything in moonshine, and then we light things up with these little fellas here. Thankfully, it ain't rained, and that old barn over there should go up like a torch. <laughs> How many of these boys you think you need? They should do it. <laughs> Let's head out the back. Look, once they get wind of us, there'll be no turning back, so move quickly. Of course. I'm rebel stock, boy. I was born born in down manor houses. We'll burn quietly. Here we go, fellas. Quiet. There's someone coming on the left. Half. Oh, hey. Well, I, I thought the wagon already arrived. Oh, shit. This one didn't. Strange. So, what you got there? Tools, payroll. Okay. Drop it by the supply shed at the back of the fields. Sure. See you later. Well, we better hurry yeah. up then. Payroll. Yeah. Let's get this job done first, okay? Just let me deal with our friend here. Gonna be able to steal the payroll van as well. Nice work. Go on. You douse the fields. I'll meet you at the barn. Try to stay out of trouble. That's good. Just gonna throw them all over all these plants as much as we can. doesn't stop turning around. Whew. We're all right. <laughs> Dude, this is ridiculous. Hold on, let's hop in first person and see what this is looking like. That's good for you. Nice job. Gonna do some more through here. About to set this place on fire, baby. Should be enough for here. Okay, gotta get across. I'm a bit worried that that guy's gonna be quick to turn around. But we're good. Whew. He just turned around too, dude. That was perfect timing. Got one more spot after this one. Ooh, this is a big one too. The biggest section of field, there it is. All right, now we're gonna go meet Sean at the barn.
There's Sean right here. <laughs> One last guard to worry about. Ooh. Boy, can this a quick dousing as well? That spray of blood, baby. I'm gonna loot this guy. Think she'll go, Arthur? All right. Would you look at that? <laughs> now let's go lure yourselves a fat cigar. <laughs> Burn, baby, burn. How many times we gotta hit it? Got it. Take out the Grey's guards, okay. Not right now, we got company, look out. Now we got more guys over here. Let's go. Go protect our homeboy. Let's go. Got him. Good shots. I got you, brother. Don't you worry. We got a guy in this building right, right next to us. I don't want to hit this horse either. It's not my horse, but I'm a good man. I don't like shooting horses. I hate the guys that sit there and like slowly peek. Oh no. Stop peeking on me. Just start worrying about these other guys first. He's down. He's down. Dude, this is. I hate the guys that do that. This game, the, the aiming is like not the easiest, so when they do that, it's. This is a goddamn mess. Look out! We're good. Let's go. There goes out right out of here. The wagon we saw coming earlier. Can you nick the horses from that? I'm down. Alright. And the payroll. This way. Look out! Here come more of them. Ah! Look at this little guy peeking. Come on now. This is insane. Oh, on the right. They're coming out of the fire, dude. They didn't tell you that me an army of them. They didn't tell me nothing. Here we go. We got all kinds of dude. This is insane. Big face, y'all. that wagon you were talking about? Right? Oh wait, that's the horse. We don't want to shoot the horse. Oh my goodness, we almost just shot that horse in the face. I think we're good. They're cut free. Come on, let's go. We're getting a double payday today, boys. These horses not scared of the fire? I would think they wouldn't want to run right through the fire. Okay, just keep running. Just keep going. He's down. If they chase us, we'll worry about them. These are some big old horses and they're quick, man. This feels good. Let's just get out of here first. Oh boys, that was that was pretty insane. I think we lost them. That we did. Quite a night. Sure. 
How much money we get? The foy torches put us into the middle of here. Uh, I hope him and Jose are right and that there's some money at the end of it. Well, what now? Head on back to camp. You coming? Yeah, I'll go back. Sure. All right. Great work, boys. That was good stuff. You let Jose know how we got on. Not bad. We made two hundred and thirty-three dollars off of our share. The gang made like four hundred or something like that. That's really not too bad. Our horse is back here, safe and sound. Thankfully, we took this this big boy home. He's pretty cool, but uh, looks like we gotta go speak with Dutch. What now? You sweating yet, Dutch? Of course, I'm sweating. We're in some disease-ridden, swampy, Dixie-whistling shithole. <laughs> yeah, I meant about what Trelawney said about these bounty hunters. I'm not sweating as such, but maybe a little gentle perspiration. Until we know more, ain't too much harm in wasting good liquor on sweating. So? So, I think you should pay Mr. Trelawney a visit and find out exactly what he knows and who he spoke to. Take Charles with you. Oh, the sight of the pair of you would make a statue sing out its secrets. Okay. All right. So, Mr. Trelawney, the, like, snake oil salesman, I think it was last episode, maybe two ago, he said that uh, there were some, some really crazy high-up bounty hunters on our tail. Charles, I need you for some business in town. Come on. Okay. Let's go talk to him and find out what he knows. Got some high-profile assassins after us. We gotta make sure what? that we're safe. So, spirits seem good in the new camp, I mean. We got some space between us and that mess now. I ain't seen no more Pinkertons for a while. There's these bounty hunters, of course, but Dutch don't seem too worried about it. Can't believe they're still coming after us. We didn't even get away with the money. Yeah, but they don't know that. Of course. Trelawney. I've only met him a couple times, but he's... He's a strange one. <laughs> yeah, he is. Fear not. He's just a cockroach in fancy fridge. <laughs> when he gets into nooks and crannies, the rest of us can't. We just need to find him before he scurries off again. Alright, sounds good to me. Let's do it. I think it's just up here. The left. Trelawney's caravan. It's got a bunch of houses on wagon wheels. This is interesting to say the least. Big struggle. Pretty recently, I'd say. I guess maybe uh, 12 hours ago. But no body? Not yet. Huh. Look. Tracks. Come on. Mm. All right. They went down the path here. Well, let's follow the track then. Focus All on right. it. I guess. Mm. Well, lead the way then. Not the kind of place I'd expect to see Trelawney staying in. No. Normally scams himself into the best hotel in town. <laughs> you know. When me and Javier went down with Trelawney to get Sean after the bar fight, I swear, he talked the whole way and never actually said a damn thing. I thought you knew. That's his special talent. <laughs> they could be 20 miles away by now. We can track them that far if we need to. Depends on how much you want to find them. Yeah, Hold on, they it. turned off in the woods. I still ain't sure about that. Hey, look. Let's go see what those fellas have to say. Excuse me. Yeah. Have you seen them? <clears throat> we're, uh, we're looking for our friend. I don't think he's here. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you seen a strange sort of feller? Sort of formal? Strange? Sure. Formal? Nah. He uses a cane. Looks a lot like this one. Weird. 
All right, you two. Where the hell is he? You both better get out of here. Come in. Oh. Okay. I can't believe you knocked my hat off. Hold on. Can I pick that back up in the middle of the fight? Because I kind of want to pick it up. I don't think I can pick it up in the middle of the fight. Whew. Good night. Give him my hat back. That was some baloney. Nice job, bro. Go ahead and take what you got. Ooh, he had $24. All right. Where is Trelawney? I don't know anything. Yes, you do. Tell me where he is. You go to hell. You better tell me now, you son of a bitch. Okay. Okay, for Christ's sake. They took him to a cabin over by the cornfields. Which cornfields? Left. Down the path there by Braithwaite Manor. Couple Let extra ones for good. Again. You hear me? Good measure. You got lucky there, my friend. All right. Come on, let's go. The cornfields to the left down by the Braithwaite Manor, he said. Follow me. I think there's a way around so we don't have to go through the Braithwaite's place. Okay. Yes. I've spent enough time there. After you, then. Alright, guys. Well, we made it. There's the, uh, the house. We're passing through the fields right now. That must be it. Whoa. This is where they're keeping Mr. Trelawney. Let's get you out of here. Come on, boy. The thing is, after that sack, this will be remembered like a good time. Put the man down, gentlemen. Is that the lot of them? I, I think so. Uh, so you're uh, alive. Allegedly. Well, don't worry, they won't be for much longer. Okay, go get them, Arthur. I can handle this. All right, here we go. That's one down. The farthest one. Can't believe these guys are hiding in the fields. Hold on, we we don't have it. Come on, where are they? Where the hell are they? Oh, there he is. There he is. I see him. Come on, man. Whoo! Good night. We got one more, Charles. Dude, it's kind of hard to see in here. I'm not going to lie. Whoo! <laughs> He's mine. Let me take him. Let me get out of here. You have my friend. He's not your friend. I'll give you money. Got him! With a throwing knife to the chest. Come on. Dude, that was sick. You should have taken the money. I know. I'm a fool. Hmm. Oh, uh, shit. Ooh. Thank you. Here we go. The gunshots are... Got him. More guys in the barn. I wish we had our double barrel shotgun handy. There he is. Take him out. Where at? Right there. Good. He should be the last of them. Who are these guys? Are they? They aren't bounty hunters, are they? Let's go back for Trelawney. They don't look like bounty hunters. You all right? Yeah. Never goes easy, does it? Sure don't. Come on. Let's go see how badly they beat up the slippery feller. They've all got lots of money. Uh, <laughs> guess we'll soon find out. 27 bucks Seems a piece. Like There's also a new weapon now, over here, I think. Our luck's held this long. We got out of worse scrapes. Than this one. Mm, so I heard. <laughs> sure. What's government agents and bounty hunters to us? Uh, I hope you're right. 
All right, we got a rare rifle out of it. That sounds good to me. Let's go back and see what Mr. Trelawney's up to, dude. This, this was cool. Searching through the corn for these guys, that was... That was pretty intense. Mr. Trelawney, where are you? I'm gonna make sure we loot all these guys. They're all dressed nicely, they've all got money. Whew, $31. Okay. Well, he's still here at least. Put your feet up, why don't you? You okay? Never finer. So, who was they? Uh, they were bounty hunters. Oh, I guess they were. Uh, Rich the bounty hunters, though, that's weird. My... Okay. They weren't looking for me. They were looking for no. Dutch. Those are the what special ones. Not much. I told them I was an intellectual. Come down here from Oregon. Looking for a job at the university. Of course, they didn't believe me. Seems you stirred up quite a hornet's nest in Blackwater. So I keep here. It might be best if I stay with you gentlemen for a while. Can't go back to that caravan now. All right, Charles. You take Trelawney back to camp. I'll catch up with you. Okay. There always seems to be more, more and more civilization. I want to get back in the open country of the West, or what's left of it, but well, even that ain't the way I remember it. Deep. Arthur's having an existential crisis. All right, well, we're able to take those guys down. That's good stuff. They were tougher than normal, but uh, we, we can handle them. So now we're gonna go and do kind of like the, the second part of this. We're gonna go meet John over at the Gray's family area. And uh, like we said before, we're gonna be playing both sides of this war, so. Let's hop on good old Frankie and head that way. All right, back at the Gray's estate. See what John's got cooking up for us. Can I help Most you? flesh for dinner. Oh, looks like you boys had some trouble. <sighs> yeah, we had some trouble. Bad trouble. What you want? Oh, I was supposed to meet some business partners here. They arranged a meeting, I believe. Fellow with a scar and a Mexican? Yes, sir. <laughs> Out by the stables, I think. Thank you. All right. And, uh, sorry for your troubles, friend. Well, I'll go meet him out there. We're good men, like you. You don't know me. You turn up in town, you're helping everybody. And there's troubles everywhere. Bandits attacked my fields. And have you met my partner, Arthur Morgan? No. I met your son, the sheriff. Okay. Mr. Gray here was saying how he had problems with a family. A family of degenerates. Oh, well, nobody likes degenerates. The hag and her inbred sons. They ruined this county. They killed my uncle, you know. That ain't right. Problem is, we can't be seen to get too close. And? We've got gold, Yankee. That's what I We've like to got hear. Gold. I ain't no Yankee, friend. I ain't nothing. My daddy came over on the boat from Scotland. I'm Scottish. And the Braithwaites? Goddamn peasants. I don't know. Mongrels. Slave fuckers. Mm. All you gotta do is look at them. How much gold? Enough. These are prized horses I'm talking about. Them, they'll get you 5,000. Whoo! 5,000. For a For horse? Horses. Easy. And where do we sell them, these $5,000 horses? Over in Clemens Cove. Fell over there, we'll run them out of state and give you 50 cents on the dollar. Mister, you got yourself a deal. Just keep us away from this. Publicly, I mean. My sense is we keep all horse wrestling away from the public. Can we keep one of these bad boys for ourselves? Of the manor. That's where they keep the thoroughbreds. 
So we're gonna go steal the Braithwaite's horses after we just got done torching their fields. These guys are having a bad time. Crazy old fool. If he only knew we just torched his tobacco crop. <laughs> that was you? The old man was cursing the Braithwaite's about that. Burning rich folks property? Sean was like a pig in shit. I'm sure. Five thousand for horses. What are you doing? They must be rich. Yeah. He doesn't know what he's talking about. But if we get even a third of that, it'll be worth it. So how are we gonna play this? The place is well guarded. So there ain't no point in blasting in there. Make them think we're there looking to purchase. Three armed men? You'd be armed if you were about to spend 5,000 on horses. Brings up a good point. We should go in the back way, though. Avoid too many questions. I feel like we don't really look like the lot that would spend that much money on horses, but we'll hope this goes well. Careful. There's a guard. I'll speak to him, okay? All right, then. Can I help you, gentlemen? Yeah, we're here to see about some horses. Horses? Yeah, we had a, an appointment with Mr. Braithwaite, I believe. Yeah, I never heard about any of this. Our partner wanted to make a significant investment in some stables down here. But perhaps we should look elsewhere. Well, I... Okay, then. But... Head on up to the stables. Worked like a charm. Come see ya. Yeah. This is awesome, dude. I like I like this, but I feel like we're gonna get caught up eventually, you know what I mean? We're playing both sides. Easy. We're gonna figure out what's don't going on eventually. Rush. We don't want to draw any unnecessary attention. All right, I think that's the stables just up ahead. Heads down, play cool. We'll head around the front, hitch up there. Let's hitch up here. Careful! Alright. Yeah! Let me do the talking. We're here about these $5,000 horses. Hello there. Can I help you boys? I hope so. Heard you got some horses. We always got horses. Fine horses, I mean. I don't get you, friend. Yeah, you do. Come on. Listen, why don't you get out of here? You, Scarface, and your greaser buddy. Whoa! I don't like officials. We ain't officials. We're connoisseurs. Looking to do some breedings. Come on now, partner. Okay, fine. Follow me. These here's mainly the studs available for purchase or for working. If that's what you're interested in. What is your boys interested in? We represent a famous uh, stable and stud farm from uh, Saratoga. Is that so? Unofficially. Of course. Well, this here is Cerberus. Here you go, Bolt. <laughs> Sorry, bud. A hot greaser, huh? <laughs> okay. Bandana's on. Don't need nobody recognizing us. All Looks right. good. I'll grab the white one in the middle. You get the other two. Hi, buddy. Relax, boy. Come on. Come here. It's good all right. Boy. You're a good boy. Easy, easy now. Make it easy. Now. You're a good boy. Marston, you're gonna tether him up to Javier's horse. Okay. Javier, you're gonna lead the stallions. I give you a little pat. You'll be all right. 
Good boy. Alright, come with me. This way. Come on. Marston, you ride point. I'll cover up the back. If there's any problems, we regroup at Clemens Cove. Okay. What are you doing? Let's go, quick! Well, going, you two. What the hell you here we go. This should, uh, this should be interesting. I'm gonna go ahead and get our car by now. Stop! Stop! We're being robbed! I can't stop these men! Got him! They're sending out riders! Go! I'll hold them off! Bro, this is outrageous. Got him. Got him. We got more guys up here. Stay close to the horses! Let's go. Come on! Come on! <laughs> nah, you don't need help, bro. You're good. We got people chasing. I don't see anybody. Think we're clear. See that rock? Go! I'm with you. You see any more? Oh my gosh! Don't think so. I did not see that rock. Let's get these horses to Clemens Cove quick before running in. Come on, Frank. I feel like you should be able to evade rocks on your own. Oh, this black one's starting to get cranky. Shit! One of the stallions is loose! Hold on. Keep going. I'll get I'm on it. Uh, we want our throwables. Get our lasso. Yep. Got him. We're gonna bring this boy back. Good stuff. All right. Come Here we go. Cooperate, and everything's gonna be okay. Clemens Cove is just over there. Come on. Let's get this over with. Come on now. Well. Don't throw a fit. That could have gone smoother. That'll be on my gravestone. <laughs> easy, easy. You think they look like they're paying 5000 for horses? I guess we'll see. Are we about to get, get got? Are the robbers about to get <laughs> robbed right now? Come on. All the way. There you go. Stay there, be a good boy. They don't what look like they're paying want. five grand for horses. Heard you was, uh, heard you pay good prices for horses. Oh, we'll buy more or less anything, Pop. That's so? Sure, Pop. I'm Clay Davies. That's my brother, Clive. We're twins. John, Arthur, Javier. So what are you, Cuban? No, I don't like Cubans. That's so? Maybe. Why, what do you care? You ain't Cuban. Maybe I like Cubans. <laughs> Ooh, you're funny. He's funny. Ain't he funny, Clive? Clive don't talk. We're twins, but I was born first. He came out all yellow and black, but he's okay. <laughs> Ah. Sure. Yeah, I know these horses. They, they ain't yours, but I like you, and I'll give you, I can give you 650 for them. Absolutely not. I was told we could get up to $5,000 for them. And I was told the moon was made of ladies' tears. Only it ain't true, not one little bit. But I like you boys. But I ain't got more than 700 on me. You want it, or you want to ride them fellers into town, and maybe someone there will hang you. We're gonna need more than that. I ain't got no more money, Pop. Here, take it or leave it. Uh-huh. All right. You goddamn fool, Marston. Ain't no one around here got $5,000, boys, but nice meeting you. See you boys again. I so Mr. Gray played oh, us. Yeah. Made us think we were making a bunch of money off of this, but he was really just trying to get back at the Braithwaite. It's all right. I mean, $700 isn't bad. 
We've had it worse. Believe the yarn spun us by one of that Gray family and imagined we was gonna be wonderfully rich. At the end of it, we felt like prize idiots. 